everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out a brow product which is why I'm currently without. Um, my natural brow hair is very very light in color. Um, I do have brows, they're just very very thin, very light. And so when I'm going to be wearing makeup I absolutely have to fill them in otherwise as you can see it just to me it looks a little bit weird when I don't. What we are going to be testing out today is the new Maybelline Tattoo Brow Easy Peel Off Tint. Now I did a product review about six months ago on the Maybelline Brow Gel, which looks similar to this, but it is completely, it's a completely different product. It's nothing like this. It's not something that you apply onto the brows and then you peel off and it leaves you with a tint as this is going to do. The other one was a gel that you applied on the brows and it was just supposed to be very long lasting, waterproof, smudge proof, transfer proof, that kind of thing. Um, this one is a tint, so it's actually going to tint the skin in order to make your brows appear full, thick, dark, you get the gist. This product is currently not available here in the US, which is why I had not reviewed it, but it is available in some, I believe, European markets, Australian, Asian, Middle Eastern, and Mexico, I believe. I was able to purchase mine through Amazon, and I believe I paid $12.99 for it. Um, it came all the way from UK, um, so it did take a little bit of time as far as shipping, but nothing, nothing too crazy. Now when I purchased this, it was offered in four different shades, blonde, soft brown, medium brown, and deep brown, which is the one that I grabbed. As far as how to use it, it is pretty straightforward. You're supposed to apply it in the desired brow shape. You're then supposed to let it dry for 20 minutes to two hours. Now this will determine how long the tint is supposed to last on the brows. If you do it for 20 minutes, it's supposed to last you a whole day. If you do it for two hours, then the tint is supposed to last you for up to three days. I'm only going to do it for 20 minutes just in case I mess up or in case I don't like it. I don't want to be committed to the brow shape for three days. So I'm going to do it for 20 minutes and then you're just supposed to peel it off and the tint will be on your brows. So now I'm going to zoom you all in so that you can get a better look at what it's going to look like. All right, so let's get started. I'm a little nervous. We'll see how this applies and how this goes. And the applicator on this one kind of scares me because it is quite thick. I'm going to start here. Oh yeah, this is thick. And I believe, I mean, I would assume that it has to be pretty thick so that I will be able to grab it and peel it off. Let's see here. I'm assuming that if you mess up during this point, you can still wipe it off and like you're okay. I think it takes a little bit of time for the tint to um, to work on the skin. Well, you know what? And this applicator is actually not that bad. I thought it was going to be too thick to like do this here at the end, but it doesn't seem to be. So I'm going to work with it and see what I get. The only thing that I guess I'm a little nervous about is ending up with like a really boxy looking brow. I don't necessarily like that. I've really committed to this, <laughs> so I hope it works out. <laughs> Alright, so there's one brow. I've made sure that I applied quite a bit of product so that I'm able to actually peel it off when it's time. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Let me do the other one really quick. <laughs> oh my gosh, they look so weird like this. Okay, so there they are. I'm going to wait the 20 minutes. I actually didn't mind the applicator that it came with. I thought that I was going to have to use a brow brush in order to get, you know, just a finer end here, a, a thinner end. But um, once you apply it flat up against the brow, it kind of flattens. And so you're able to turn it on its side and then get the sides. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, the applicator, I didn't have any issues with. This is what they currently look like. I absolutely hope they don't look like this after I peel it off, but we shall see here in about 20 minutes. So now I'm just going to wait the required time and then I'm gonna come back in order to peel these off and yeah, we'll see what we get. So I'll be right back. 20 minutes later. 
Okay, so now I am back. It has been a little over 20 minutes. These are completely dry and let's see what happens. So I'm gonna start off with this right one right here. Just gonna start by tugging at the front here. It's already lifting as you can see. And then it's all coming off. This is really weird. You know what? That doesn't look half bad. No, it's not. It's not bad at all. I mean, the tint is on my skin, so nothing's gonna wipe off. All right, now I'm just gonna brush through it, make sure I got everything, which I mean, it seems like you do. Like it comes off full, complete. It doesn't tear or anything. So everything came off. All right, now let's do this side. All right, so yeah, the tint is definitely on the skin. The only thing that I guess I'm not a huge fan of is the way that it makes my brows look here. Um, they just look too shaped and boxed in for me. I don't typically like my brows to look that way. But other than that, I really like the way that they look and they should stay on for a whole day. So that completes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's product review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future product reviews, makeup tutorials, anything beauty related. And also don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media platforms where I love interacting with you all. I am All Beauty by Sarah with an H on Instagram and All Beauty by Sarah without the H on Snapchat and Twitter. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.